Hi, welcome to a very quick overview with the GC Loader. The GC Loader is a plug and play optical disc emulator for your GameCube. This device takes place of your GameCube's DVD-ROM drive, faulty or not, and lets you run your game library, and then some, from an SD card. For this experiment, I'm buying a broken GameCube on eBay, installing the optical disc emulator, and hoping for the best. Just a note, there are clone devices of this device, but be fair warned, they do not match the official hardware feature set from Black Dog Tech. This ODE is from Black Dog Tech and retails for 90 US dollars. A regular sized SD card is also required and not included. Installation is very simple. You need to disassemble your GameCube until you can remove the DVD-ROM drive. This is about 18 screws, more or less. The first four being GameBit, which requires a special screwdriver. The GC Loader will fit both GameCube models DOL-001 and DOL-101. I have a model 101 here, which doesn't have the third mounting hole for the GC Loader, so I drilled that into the RF shield. The GC Loader plugs into the GameCube's optical drive connector, and that's it. The install is very simple. There's no soldering required. Reassemble the GameCube, and the install is complete. Compared to other optical drive emulator solutions, say the PlayStation 1, this install can be done by anyone and is a good place to start if you're looking into ODE territory. The GameCube I'm using here is a broken one. The disk drive doesn't work, and I bought this specifically to try the ODE out. For $25 plus shipping, you could get a GameCube with a broken disk drive if you search for it. Your results will vary, but searching for a does not read discs GameCube will get you into the as is price range, which makes this modification affordable and somewhat guilt free. I would not do this to a working GameCube. As per most things on eBay, a bit of cleaning was required. The next step is to prep the SD card, which you can use up to a one terabyte size card. Format the card using FAT32 and drop in the newest version of Swiss, which supports this ODE, and that's it. You can drop in your game ISOs into the root and turn the system on. I really recommend Swiss, not just for the user interface, but for other added abilities. These are, but not limited to, override video output resolutions and enable write and read to devices like the SD Gecko or SD2 Serial Port 2 modules. Another big feature of replacing your DVD drive with the GC Loader is removing region lock barriers. You can play games from any region using the ODE. And of course, Homebrew is here too, including other console emulators which you can play on your GameCube. The GC Loader is made in small batches, and with the silicon shortage, it can be hard to find, so please be patient if you're looking to get one. Again, avoid the clones and support the engineering behind the original device. Optical drives from this console generation are now past the 20 year mark, and if you're looking for an original hardware solution to enjoy these games for another 20 years, consider an optical disc emulator for your system. This experiment was a test for a Nintendo GameCube arcade machine that could have a list of games that are easy selectable. I also tried some very cheap GameCube controllers which would eventually have to be rewired into a control panel. These controllers, which are under $10, are pretty okay considering the cost. But just like imitation GC loaders, I would be wary of what you see here. I thought these ratings were pretty suspect, and the controllers that were shipped to me at face value are basically a gift card scam. They include a card that offers a free gift card in exchange for a, quote, honest review. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you have any GameCubes that don't seem to be reading discs, this is an excellent fix for them to keep them in service for another 20 years. Thanks for watching.